tonight we went and saw Heaven is for Real. I think that's the name of it. Um, yes, we're down to watching dollar movies now. And uh, it was really good. Now, I have to admit, the one, there was another one a while ago. Well, two of them. Uh, I'm, I'm saying them, religious kind of movies. Um, Noah. I, I was so disappointed. I think I've even said that. The other one was God is Not Dead. While I liked the idea of it, it felt too born again. Um, everyone was saying praise Jesus and all that. And I don't find that reality. That doesn't seem like people really talk that way. And when they do, they're a little bit over the top. Sorry. Um, that's just me. That's that's how I see it. You're welcome for your opinion, of course. Um, but I really enjoyed Heaven is for Real. And there were some things in there that I don't know the the of course I'm going to take issue with some things just my beliefs but the preacher it almost seemed like not the preacher the reverend he said something like um someone asked him so is heaven real and instead of the hard answer instead of the strong divisive black and white answer of yes it's real it was more of a well i see heaven every day you know i see heaven in in all these miracles that happen i see heaven in in i mean it's kind of like saying i see god every day in people's service and the good they do well Sure, but that really means I see examples of God's love. That's what it really means. Or I see um, samples of what it must feel like to be in heaven when I see people doing good. That's not saying you've seen heaven. That's more metaphorical. Um, I haven't seen literal heaven, but I know it's there. I haven't seen angels, but I know they're there. Um, I think it's in Second Kings, chapter six, somewhere. I, I look it up, but I don't want to pause this. But um, where the city is surrounded by their enemy, and Elijah's servant comes up to him comes up to him and says you know, he he wakes up in the morning he goes out and he sees the whole city is surrounded by their enemy um and I, I love Elijah's response and I can picture him when a servant comes to him and says all panicked Elijah what are we going to do what are we going to do and in my mind I picture Elijah just kind of shaking his head And saying, you know, if only you could see what I see. And he says something to the effect, um, God, please bless this man's eyes that he can see. Or open his eyes that he can see. And then the guy, the servant, I believe, his eyes were opened and he saw the mountains full of horses and chariots of fire. And I believe Elijah said, again, I'm paraphrasing, Behold, they that be with us are more than they th those that be with them. And I 100% agree with that. I believe 100% as much as I am sitting here tonight, that there are angels among us, I know that. I think of how much I love my family, my children, and my yet unborn grandchildren. 
that if and when, not if, but when I pass from this life, I can't imagine a higher priority for me than for me to beg my Heavenly Father to allow me to be an angel to come and help my kids and their kids. So with that in mind, I know that I have family on the other side that have gone on before, that are here watching, helping, encouraging, teaching, prodding, slapping sometimes. I, like I said, I haven't seen angels, but I know God loves me enough to send angels. Good night.